right greetings 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 everyone um welcome to 2023 and all that the new calendar year is going to bring i am adira eschatelmiel founder uh lead consultant um, of ujuzi curriculum consultants llc and i just wanted to um come on here for a few minutes i don't do lives too um too very often but I really felt the need to, you know, come on and just share a little bit about one of our upcoming workshops and a little bit about the history um, behind it. So next week, um, the country, and I'd probably say the world, is going to be celebrating and honoring the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And the Ujuzi team, we have an awesome, awesome, exciting, engaging, fun-filled workshop planned for youngsters ages 8 to 13 the hero in me mlk day workshop and that's happening on monday january 16th from 10 a.m to 11 30 um, a.m so before you go out to do your service and participate in so many of the other awesome events that are going to be happening you definitely want your um youngsters to um you know after they're up from sleeping late because they you know have the day off from school they can sign up and participate in this workshop. So Hero and Me workshop, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how this um, class has not evolved into these workshops that we have periodically um, throughout the year. So back in 2015, um, actually back in uh, from about 2010, 2009 maybe, to 2009 actually, to 2012, um, I was an instructor, an extended day instructor, aka after school um, instructor at E.L. Haynes Public Charter School in Washington, D Washington, D.C. Shout out E.L. Haynes. I had some great, great experiences there and that really helped to um, give me a really firm foundation as an educator. So I was an extended day or after school instructor. However, um, during the summer breaks and also during these special breaks that they the school called intercession um, we got opportunities so full-time regular teachers as well as after-school instructors got a chance to teach these different classes whatever classes we wanted to create and so in um, even after I left that position um, and went on to teach at UBC um, my, my older students were great I loved them my adults but I miss my little ones. I miss my, my K to, to fifth graders who I usually worked with. And so every chance I got, I went back to teach um, intercession. And so I think it was 2015. Um, one of my summer sessions that I taught was Finding the Hero in You. And I created this class um, with the based on the principle that <coughs> our children, one, everyone, we all have a hero within us. And it's really for us to recognize and, and actualize and manifest um, that hero or heroine. And it's based on really, you know, connected to our passion, to our purpose. But the things that we see wrong in the world, whether it's in our families, the community, um, you know, the nation or, or the, uh, on a global level, um, we have the, the chance and we have the skills, the talents within us to make a difference. And I really wanted our youngsters to know that even they, at their young ages, um, they d definitely have, have, have a hero, um, a hero, heroine within them. And so I wanted to empower them, to inspire them. And so um, that first class was a mix of fourth and fifth graders. I ran the class for a one week um, during the summer of intercession at E.L. Haynes. And I'm gonna shout out my instructors. Um, I met some really great teachers who have now, I mean, many are going on to do um, some awesome things. Miss Whitney, Miss Ishna, uh, Mr. Z, Ziad, um, Brian, Desmond, Miss um, uh, Woods, okay. Um, so many others that I can name, but shout out to those, that, especially since I, I, I'm still in touch with them on, um, on Facebook. So that first Finding the Hero in Me um, class was just spectacular. Um, so we, the, the kids started off, they wrote stories. First of all, we identified what are some of the issues that they 
are passionate about, what things, you know, really get them upset, either angry or sad when they hear about it on the news, and what are some things that they could see themselves doing to solve these challenges, all right? So first we identified that, and then, um, you know, they channel, channel their, you know, their emotions, what can we do, because we talked about it. A hero is basically someone who sees something that's wrong, and instead of turning their, 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 their head and, you know, burying their, uh, their head in the sand, as you say, um, a hero sets out to do something about it. They may not know how, um, you know, or the why, how, how to go about it. They might not have all the skills, the tools, whatever, but they just know that something needs to be done and they set out to make a difference. And so then they created these stories, um, original stories, which were uh, the, the featuring these characters in a superhero persona, which was really them. And um, it, it, was, it was really awesome what our children um, came up with. And, and so, so we talked about the basic parts of a comic. Um, and so we did art instruction. We used panels and things, sheets like this, which we downloaded. They designed costumes. You know, we used sheets like this and they you know, were able to design um, you know, different costumes for themselves that they, they you know, came into um, they were dressed in full costume by the end of the week, presenting their comics. Um, and so one of my most memorable characters from that first class was Sandwich Man. All right, so Sandwich Man had the um, ability to fly, and as Sandwich Man was um, uh, zooming around the world, wherever he came across someone that was hungry, he, he gave them um, a sandwich. And so... That character has just never, never left me. And there were so many other great ones too. And so that's how the Finding the Hero in Me um, class began. And so um, I've had the opportunity to teach that class in many other settings. Um, I think the next um, big, big session that I had, I taught it a couple of times at Yale Haynes. Um, and then I taught it for the Sankofa Homeschool um, Collective Co-op in 2017. And that's actually when my superhero character was born, Literac, okay? Literac is all about promoting literacy, making sure that children and adults, but mostly children, have um, books. So this was the first comic that I came up with um, for Literac. So yes, the, the students are not the only ones um, having the fun. You know, I, as the teacher, I, I get into it as well. I have a costume, as you can see. Um, and, and you, some of you may have seen pictures of me. Here's my mask, which I usually wear when I'm in full gear. I have my red cape and my black outfit and my yellow, um, if I find it, my L, which is usually on my chest. So Literac is all about promoting um, literacy. And in this first um, comic, this one I th actually I think I did in 2019 um, for a, a virtual homeschool um, class of Finding the Hero in You. So in this um, initial comic, um, Literac is, um, there's a, a delivery of books that's supposed to go to an orphanage in Nairobi, Kenya, and um, the villain, Taka Taka Man, um, who gets power by eating more garbage, tries to steal the books, um, but Literac um, gets in the way um, of his evil scheme, she thwarts his plans, and um, knocks out, punches out Taka Taka Man. Um, the, the book delivery is saved, the children at the orphanage get the books, um, and Literac saves the day. And as you can see, you know, so it's not all about the art. I mean, stick figures are definitely welcome in our, cl in our class, so um, we're not looking for expert artists to be part of the comic, you know, class, because yes, we do make comics, um, you know, as part of it, but that's not the focus. The focus is on the children again identifying an issue and really seeing how they can make a difference and throughout the class we, we learn about actual um, historical heroes um, we learn about um, child heroes you know even current day heroes um, again just ordinary children who are taking a stand whether it's against um, unfair um, policies that discriminate against natural hair like one young sister um, Zuleika Patel um, from South Africa or whether it's um, Little Miss Flint, um, the, the young girl um, who you know, stood up and was like, hey, we need clean water in, in, in our neighborhood. And she you know, rallied the community together to make sure that um, they had clean water and um, you know, more resources in, in Flint, Michigan. So they learn about all of that. 
And then it, you also do science experiments, learning about the scientific science behind, you know, some of the superpowers that these heroes and heroines have. So it's a full um, cross curricular subject class. Um, and again, you know, the children design uh, their own costumes, original costumes that they wear at the end of our um, comic uh, Comic Con at the end of our our session. Um, one group I also taught um, this class to was uh, in the summer of 2021. Um, I was a reading writing instructor for the PALS program, which is part of um, Phillips, Acad Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts. That class was a hit. So we had the middle schoolers. Um, we were there for four weeks. And um, again, they loved it. One, one, one student, I remember saying that, um, remember him saying that he had never written his own story before. And so for him, that was really um, empowering. That was his, you know, he felt really accomplished um, because of that. And so, you know, I'll add in this too, for your struggling readers or writers, um, comics are a great way to get them um, inspired in both, you know, reading as well as writing. And so um, in the last um, session of Finding the Hero in You, um, which had just ended with another homeschool um, group, I actually did an origin story for, for Literac, all right? And it's entitled Books Are My Friends. And in this origin story, um, we learn how Literac um, takes on this character of, or this, this persona of, you know, seeing that books are so important. So just in a nutshell, it's her, um, it's her birthday. She gets a book for her birthday that she really loves reading. She can't put it down. And then a few weeks later, a fire breaks out in her house. Um, she's not able to get out in time, but she has faith that she's gonna be rescued. And so what she does is she hides under her bed and she reads, um, so she stays low, so she's not you know, exposed to all the smoke, you know, hot air rises. And um, while she's under her bed, she's feeling safe because she's reading that same book. And so after the, the fire, you know, she's like, you know, hey, you know, that book helped me feel so safe and so, um, you know, good, even though there was a fire in my, in my house, I really should have been panicking, you know, maybe it can help other kids feel safe too. And so that's how she, um, you know, really developed this attachment for books and also just realizing that books can be such a blessing and it can help do so many positive things for for children and so as she gets older you know then she you know takes on this persona of literac all right there's it there 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 i am in, in full costume and by the way this is not a real story um <laughs> this is my origin story but i really do love books so this is definitely all um in line with with me and my um persona and so um the, in the last panel here it says years later you know, um, she's seeing apparently a, a child who's up to, you know, whatever. And she's like, looks like that kid needs a book. And so the origin story of how Literac was born. So again, just, uh, you know, a little history of finding the hero in you. And now I've kind of transformed it a little bit to um, the hero in me, but still um, an awesome, awesome workshop. So I really want to encourage um, everyone if you haven't signed your children up yet, um, enjoy, let's, you know, sign them up. They, I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. All the attendees will also receive a hero kit because we know that 90 minutes, um, we wanted to keep it not too long because we definitely we know other pe folks have other things to do during the weekend. But then also, um, we, you know, we want to also keep the computer time, you know, um, short and concise. But so we know that, you know, your kids are going to be inspired. They're going to want to do more even after the workshop is continued, um, is over. So they're going to get a special hero kit with some goodies to keep them writing, keep them drawing, keep them, you know, developing their superhero um, personas after the workshop is over. So um, the link to sign up, we're on now on After School Headquarters. We have a profile page there. Um, where you can go ahead and register and make payments and all of that. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But I encourage you all 
to sign your kids up and you say oh well I don't have any children during of that age sponsor a child okay spread the word to friends colleagues because you know what the world needs more heroes and and that's it with all the negativity that's out there in the world the world needs more heroes and our children don't need to wait until they are grown to realize that they can make a difference in this world all right so I look forward to seeing your children registered and logging on to our zoom workshop on next Monday January 16th from 10 to 11 30 and look out because we're also going to be doing more with um, this class um, you know for the winter break um, during the winter break camp period many of the schools are closed during President's Day week so we're going to be doing some activities then um, and we also would love to offer it as again as a regular class or even after school um, option as well so reach out to us if you'd like just a special workshop for your um, students or maybe your youth group um, a church group um, we, we worked with a summer camp last year okay a congregation put together a camp and we worked with them to offer um, finding the hero in you as part of their summer program so we're definitely flexible and um, here and available to bring this really really special class to as many um, youngsters as we are able to so thanks so much for listening and again finding the hero in you hero in me sign up today Next week, again, we're celebrating the legacy of Dr. King, how he was a hero, and how our children can make a difference. They can be the change makers, be the change that they want to see in the world. All right. Take care, everyone. Peace.